Welcome to episode 4 of Lucy and Puck. Now as you remember from our last episode, we finished building their new house. Now it is time to go back into live mode. So there they are, our new newlywed couple. They're very happy to be living in their new house together, starting a new chapter of their life. Yes, it is here that they shall build their family and their future. So they're probably going to want to check out their new house. And usually what happens when uh, your sims move into a new house is that a bunch of neighborhood sims will come over to sort of give them a housewarming. Now until that happens, we'll just have them get some of their uh, skills. Besides, it's an aspiration for each of them to get the skill they're working on. You know when you move into a new place and everything's all set up and it's all neat and orderly and it doesn't feel like home yet? That's kind of the feeling that I think that um, Puck and Lucy have right now, but it won't last too long. After a couple weeks of living in this new home, it, they'll feel right at home. So anyway, one of the other, or one of the most important things I want to do is get both Lucy and Puck jobs. Now, um, I want them to have different jobs than every other sim in um, the family, the extended family. So, Puck is going to be a chef. Yes, can you picture Puck as a chef? I sure can. Yes, I want every every sim in both, uh, both shows to have different jobs. And oh look, here come some neighbors. You might not recognize um, any of them because they don't think any of them really played a major role in the previous LP, although they were probably there in the background. But it's good that they're here. We'll invite them in. They can hang out and help the, help the Summer Dream family break in their new home. And yes, that's their last name. All right. Lucy is going to use the cooking skills that she has gained at the Lincolns when she was growing up to serve food for everyone. Looks like Puck himself is getting a cooking skill. Because after all, it's going to be important for him to be a good cook for his new career. So everyone will come over and get some food. Not sure why Lucy grabbed that plate and didn't just use the one that was already sitting there on the table. That way she wouldn't have to hold it. But, yeah, that's alright. Uh, yes, it's a... It is a very nice new home, I think. It's very nice that they have a kitchen table, because if you remember, in my first LP, the Lincolns didn't even have a kitchen table until something like episode 35 or so. Until then, they would either stand and eat, or they would sit on the couch and eat. But, you know how much I love uh, dinner scenes, as they all sit and talk to each other. Alright, now for something new that I haven't done in any of my LPs. Um, <coughs> Lincoln's never had a bar. And so now, since um, Puck and Lucy both have a popularity aspiration, I thought it would be very fitting to get them a bar. So, Lucy is going to make drinks for everyone. Now, I don't know exactly what drinks they are. But knowing the creativity of the uh, people who name things in The Sims, it's probably something like Sim Liquor or Sim Rum or, you know, something along those lines. So, it adds to the fun mostly, is what they do. And to the hunger just a touch, but mo mainly it's the fun that's affected by the drinks. Alright, you already see a little bit of a 
a bumble with him trying to use the upstairs bathroom. Man, when Sims come over to your house, they just seem to pee and pee and pee. It's very annoying. Ah, now, um, Lucy is playing the piano. Of course, she's not very good so far, so everyone's complaining, but, eh, it's her house, she can do whatever she wants. Now we're going to have Puck change into a formal suit because, strange as it might be, it's actually one of his aspirations. Because he wants to be all dressed up formally and uh, entertaining everybody. And Lucy is serving yet more food. Yes, this house party has gone on for quite a while. And no, it's not officially a house party, but we can still consider it a party in a way. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, you can never serve too much food. And the more cooking points your sims have, the more filling the meals will be. So, yet another po another reason to have them raise their skill level as much as they can. Alright. Well... There's one thing that we haven't done for Lucy yet, and that is to get her a job. Now, of course, she can't have the same job as Puck, or her parents, or any of her sisters. Because after all, I wanted each of each of the Sims to have their own job. Their own career path, I mean. <coughs> so let's see what we have here in the newspaper for them. For her. Hmm. Politics. I like that. Lucy can be um, on the politics track. Can you imagine Lucy running for elected office? It's kind of a neat idea, isn't it? Well, it's now underway. Well, you can probably tell that the party is starting to wind down. And pretty soon, we're going to ask all these guests to leave, so that way... Um, Lucy and Puck can enjoy their first evening alone in their house. Alright, now they're finally alone. All the other guests have, uh, have left. And now, it's just the two of them. Just our happy married couple. Spending their first evening alone in their home. They couldn't be happier. Things have been going great for them. But of course, as we know, things have, are just beginning. <laughs> All right, now we're going up to the bedroom. First night in their new bedroom. Now, in my opinion, there's only one way to break in a new home. And this part of the episode is pretty self-explanatory. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, 
I will see you on the next episode. So long.